today, my friends, we are rebuilding the team of the GOAT himself. I'm not talking about Messi. I ain't talking about Ronaldo. I ain't talking about any of these guys. I am talking about... Akin Fenva, yes. We gotta show the strength when we jump right in here. Wickham, you failed to get promoted. Sunderland got past them, and now Wickham Wanderers. There is a career ending. Akin Fenva is ending his career in real life, but no, 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 no. We ain't doing that around here. Akin Fenva, you are now a wonder kid again. I am gonna go through all the divisions that I need to go through to get you to lift that Champions League title. Let's dive straight in. Right now, Mr. Akina Fenwa. That is how KSI used to call him, right? Akina, Akina. 39 years old right now. This guy has become a legend through KSI. He has become a cult hero, but then more and more people realized he is just a physical specimen. How do I get arms like this? Chest like this? Now, he is retiring at the end of this season. But I ain't allowing that. 39 years old? No, 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 no. More like 18 years old. Well, we have our striker for this entirety of the rebuild. We gotta do it, man. For the man, the myth, the legend himself. Akin Fenwa is gonna be the captain of this squad. And he's gonna be leading them. Not only to promotion into the championship. and Not only to promotion into the Premier League. He is going to take this team into Champions League football, and I cannot wait for it. I cannot wait to see how good we can make him in this game. Obviously, the guy still has 38 pace, but we'll see if we can work against that with the training sessions and all that good stuff. But guys, Wickham sadly failed. They tried to get up into the championship, failed in the playoffs. It's all good. Mr. Rebuild is here, and he only has 1.35 mil. All right. Let's see what we can do. As we do, Akin Fenwa is the only man that I want to keep around here. So, Tafazoli is gone. Vokes is gone. Horgan is gone. Basically, everyone is leaving but Akin Fenwa. We are building around him. And ideally, what I want to do is I want to bring in a couple of strong players as well. We'll see what happens. I don't want to fill the entire team with strong men because we already have the best up top. But still, I want to have like two center backs that are, you know... Akin Fenva-ish in that centre-back position. I'm looking forward to it. But generally speaking, guys, if we think about players like Akin Fenva that have become somewhat like memes or idols of people, not idols, but like heroes. Let's say just heroes. People that, uh, people that we all kind of love. Which other players can we think of in that sense in today's football? Like, who, who, who do we come up with? If, I, if Akin Fenva is gone, who's the next guy? I can't think of anyone. Let me know in the comments down below. Whew. That was a busy, busy transfer window, my friends. We have Akin Fenva still leading the line. Mehmeti, the left midfielder, now becomes a cam. He's going to be put into that position to help us out. Kai Kai remains in the team, but we have brought in a new right winger. His name is Koulibaly. And what I love the most about him is the fact that his first name is Lasso. Lasso Koulibaly absolutely love it hope to turn him into a beast then in the cdm position we have brought in gomez who looks extremely well-rounded i'm excited to have him in the team he is only 21 years old a french lad coming into our squad thompson remains in a squad for now obita remains in a squad for now same for stewart but the center back i've brought in was is one of the most physically strong players when it comes to players below the rating or around the rating like 60 to 65 basically and his name is for me it's a ton all right his name is a ton he has a ton of strength that's what we're getting to see best jokes on this channel subscribe right now now in all seriousness that joke is terrible but still subscribe we have mccarthy in the right back position and we have brought in a new goalkeeper and his name is paulson now i did go ahead and bring in one more player for the bench Hey, I'm improving. I brought in a player for the bench. We never do this stuff. So you better hit that like button. See, I'm getting players for the bench immediately. So I had to do one more piece of business before the season ends. We're halfway through right now. Guindo had to come in. I needed a new left back and he comes in from Salzburg. This guy excites me. He could be a big one. Salzburg obviously is a massive academy uh, and they bring in incredible talents all the time. And 
Here we go. We have another one. Grindo, welcome to the squad. The first season with Akina Fenwa is done. And uh, you can see it right there, my friends. We can crown the EFL League One champions. We are going up to the championship. And Hanlon is the top scorer of the team. I tried to sell him, man. I tried. I really tried. At least Akin Fenwa has gone up in his rating a little bit. I think it's a plus two. But this man right here has been the main man of the squad. He has scored most of the goals. He's only 24 years old. The good thing is, due to the great performance this season, his potential is probably going to go up a little bit. And that can lead to us cashing in more money for him. I'm sorry, Akin Venva, that you didn't get as much playtime. It sucks. But let's see if he did score any goals. And he did. 37 games. He has gotten himself nine goals. I'm assuming all of those games have been substitutions for him. It's sad to see that I could not get rid of Hanlon. He has been on a transfer market all the time. I accepted multiple offers for him, but for some reason, the deals constantly fell through, which was extremely annoying. But look at this. Mehmeti has gone up plus eight. I don't know how the hell this happened. This guy has jumped up so much in, in his rating. It excites me. He could be the main man behind Akin Fenva and could lead us to victory. So I'm very, very much looking forward to it. And in terms of the league table, you can see it for yourself one more time here. Wickham and Sheffield are going up. Charlton, Ipswich, Wigan and also uh, Cheltenham have to go ahead and play against each other to uh, possibly come out as the third team to go up. But hey, for the first season, I really like what we have done. And I like the fact that a lot of our players have grown, especially a ton or a ton has gone up in his rating as well. I'm very happy with that. Guindo has done well. Koulibaly, everyone's looking good, but no one has grown as much as Mehmeti. Next season, Akin Venva starts, that's for sure. So the budget has been spent. The striker that was annoying Akin Fenva has now been pushed out of the team. He is the sole leader of the squad, but I gotta say, for a championship team, we are lacking a lot of strength. Now, we have brought in a new man. Mansberg is a player that we have brought in into the team. He is from Norway. I'm excited to have him here. Obviously, I just spent a week in Norway, so had to bring a Norwegian into the team. And then I also have brought in Imeri. There we go. I was looking like, what the hell? Who's the other guy that I brought in? Imeri is the guy. Blonde lad, decent amount of pace, good shooting, good dribbling. And he is from Switzerland, 22 years old. I hope he can turn out to be a little bit faster later on. He's probably better suited in a central position like Mehmeti, but we already have Mehmeti, so I don't need that. But what I need is basically every single player in this team to get past the 70 rating, even the captain himself, Akin Fenva. A plus four is needed this year. Go on then, show me what you can do. And his pace is up to 41. Yay! Well, I don't know about you, but this might be the relegation playoffs? Or what is this right now? Because, I, as I said before, I don't necessarily think the team is good enough um, to stay up in a championship, but maybe it is. Hey, 2-1 first game, 3-3. Three, three, and then we play against Millsborough. Norwich and Millsborough? Wait, did we just play for promotion? Because these teams definitely don't play for relegation. Oh my god! Hey! We came in sixth. Oh, what the hell? That's ridiculous. All right, lads. Not too shabby. We got into the playoffs in the championship for the first time already. And that's not too bad. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Now, that gives me a lot of hope moving forward. And it tells me Mr. Akina Fenwa might have done a little bit of a good thing here. He is up to a 69. Come on, mate. I just wanted you to get to 70. Can't be that hard. Pace from 41 to 48. Let's go. Well done, big man. Mehmeti up to a 77. Imeri up to a 75. Manswerk 72. Gomez 73. Koulibaly 71. McCarthy is up. Everyone is above 70, apart from the captain. Yep. Got him. I can fend man. I need you to stop eating as much and working on what you're doing, all right? Let's go ahead and focus on the footballing skills. Enough with the strength, more footballing ability, get higher rated. Now, if we look at how he's done here, we see that he has gotten ourselves, ooh, only eight goals and three assists. Come on, bro. You can do much better than that. You're the captain of this team. I am going to make him the best player in the world. It's going to happen. It doesn't matter. He is 
going to be the man. I'm going to force it upon him. The bar right here, the backup strike, has scored 14 goals and gotten one assist. I think it really comes down to his stats. Overall rating, sure, he looked good. But, yeah, he's just not pacey enough. I guess the game recognizes that and it hurts him. But we're getting there ever so slowly. I had to use the money to make a change in this team. And that change that I'm bringing in, bringing in is Branthwaite. The Everton centre-back is coming in. I have a bunch of good centre-backs in the team right now. Uh, Rodriguez is still going up in his stats. Forino, Joseph, not so much. He's stuck at the moment, which kind of sucks. But Branthwaite is now here. He's a left-footed centre-back. Five-star weak foot. Wow. He's six foot five. I did not know that. So he's a giant and that fits really well. He's going to be playing alongside the man of a ton. And Akin Fenva up top is going to be leading the line for this season. I'm pretty confident. I don't know why. I am assuming this time around it is actually for promotion into the Premier League 2024 May. Here we are. By the way, if you're asking why I sat down for this part of the video and the last parts as well, it's because I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you straight up. Nah, I'm joking. I just had half a watermelon. All right. I'm sorry. Anyways, we move on. We win against Stoke City. Do we get promotion into the Premier League? Really? Not yet. I thought we were ready, man. Oh, look at that. We came in fourth. We are six points behind guaranteed promotion. We have to make it in there at some point here, lads. Last season, I was surprised we were that high. I got to say. This season, I had a lot more faith. And if we look at the team, hey, there we go. Akin Fenver, 54 pace. Come on, lad. Uh, his physicality obviously still is insane. Uh, Mehmeti on the 80. Imeri on the 80. Manswerk and Gomez, both 76. Koulibaly, 76. McCarthy, not that high rated. Definitely need a new right back next season. Going to be the position we're going to go after. A ton is up to a 77. Branthwaite is up to a 75. Grindo up to an 80 and our goalkeeper, by the way, somehow became a potential to be special player, which I'm very excited about. So that is amazing. And he's a goalkeeper with a five star weak foot at this stage as well, which is very, very helpful. Now we're getting to a stage where the bench isn't really looking great outside of the center back positions. But right now I need all my money to make the right decisions for the starting lineup still. So I'm not capable of bringing in good backups yet. But let me check out how Akin Venva has done this season. Once again, we failed at promotion. But the main man himself has his best season. Come on, Akin Venva. He's up to 22 and 6. Mehmeti, 20 and 8. Imeri, 14 and 7. Guys, our CDM has 12 assists. What more do you want? This has been a great season. And you know what? At the end of the day, it's probably better that we stay in a championship because in the Prem, this team would have really struggled. And hopefully, I can maybe get Akin Fenwa to like a 76 by the time we're done with the next season. The big boy signing is in. McCarthy, I'm sorry, brother. We're going to have to bring you down over to the bench. Gabe, you're not going to be playing there. It's going to be Pembele. Yes. We are bringing in a right back, a PSG talent. He's coming in. It's not Dembele, it's Pembele. Now, ideally, we need to work on his physicality. Uh, and the best way to do it is he goes into the gym with Akin Fenva. Easily goes up to an 80. We are back standing, my friends. Let's go. So we are looking at May 2025. And I'm saying to you, we are going up into the Premier League. Yes. Welcome me, you peasants. Here we go. I'm not talking about you, the viewers. I'm talking about the Premier League clubs, you know. We, Wickham, we are the ones that are going to take over the world right here, my friends. We are coming, Premier League. We are coming for you. And we want to beat you with Akina Fenwa. He's up to a 76. I can work with that. 66 pace. Hey, hey, let's go, buddy. His dribbling has improved as well. Go on then, lad. How old is he now? 21 years old, high, low work rates. That's all I need. That is all I need. He's my captain forever. And the boys behind him, Mehmeti, 82, Imeri, 83, Mansberg, 78, Gomez as well. These seem to be growing alongside each other, which is lovely. Koulibaly up to a 78, Pembele with a plus four, a ton up to a 78, Branthwaite, 79, Grindo, 83. Is he the highest rated player? Yeah, the left-hand side for our team is amazing. But 
the actual highest rated player in our team is Paulsen. And I gotta say, he looks 15. He is 22 right now from New Zealand. Shout out New Zealand. Isn't that the place where they recorded Lord of the Rings? Dude, I love Lord of the Rings. If you don't love Lord of the Rings, please don't watch my videos. If you're the guy that enjoys Harry Potter more than Lord of the Rings, we can't be friends. By the way, I love Harry Potter too. I'm just saying, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, you know? levels to this game oh and by the way i forgot to show you the man has gotten 32 goal contributions he is well and truly ready for premier league football that is clear well for this season we did get a massive budget it was around like 45 million or something like that but i had to go ahead and deal with contracts immediately everyone was unhappy because we just got promoted so that's an issue but we do have around 34 million left. I could do some business with that. And the question is, what position do I go for? Mehmeti now 24 years old, Imeri 25, Mansberg is all right, Gomez is all right, Koulibaly is decent, Pembele is good. But I feel like I should be getting a massive player into the team. I need to make a decision on which position I want to strengthen in this case. And it is a very tough uh, decision. I think I'm going to go for the right wing spot. The deal is done. Anthony Elanga, the Manchester United wonder kid, the Swedish wonder kid is joining Wickham. He sees this as a much better project and it feels like he's going to be able to touch the Champions League trophy earlier than he could at Manchester United. Hey, the guy's probably right. So let's go ahead and bring him into the team. We do put Koulibaly onto the bench now. So we now have a good backup right there, which I'm happy with. Elanga comes in with a decent amount of pace. Not decent, incredible amount of pace. Great shooting, great dribbling, but no skill moves in weak foot. That needs to change for sure. I need him to support Akin Fenva up top. Hopefully we can get Akin Fenva to an 80 rating this season. Let's just freaking do it. My friends, would you look at that? Three wins in the Premier League at the end of the season. And Wickham is sixth. Hey, Conference League. We're going to Europe. Let's freaking go, man. And we look at Ma Manchester United winning the title. Well, that's a rarity. Um, it seems like Elanga leaving them has been good to them. But look at the team. Back in Fenver, 81. Mehmeti, 84. Imeri 85, the two CDMs have grown. Uh, obviously, the season in which we did go up into the Prem, it was a very dominant season. So a lot of the players are looking very good right now. Pembele up by plus four again, I believe. Both centre-backs have grown a little bit. Our left-back is ridiculously good. And our goalkeeper is possibly the best in the world right now. And Koulibaly on the bench on an 80 rating. I'm very happy with that. This season has been a huge success. Never thought we could be doing this well. Akin Fenwa with 20 goals in a prem. Do your thing, big man. I love that. Imeri and Elanga and also Mehmeti with good seasons and even our CDM getting 12 goal contributions. What more do you want from a team that just got promoted into the prem? Now we play European football. So the season is over and uh, yeah. We have lost in the cup final, which is very disappointing, especially considering it's freaking Brighton. And then uh, conference league wise, my friends, Celtic. That's all I got to say. And I'm sitting down again because I just ate uh, something. So just a heads up. But yeah, it didn't go too well in the Prem. It's a disappointment again. We come in seventh. So technically we have done worse this season than we did last time around, which is a bit of a surprise. And I feel like it might be down to the fact that our center backs aren't necessarily the highest rated players. Our full backs are incredible. Our midfield, our attack is looking good. I can fit that up to an 85 at this stage. But I feel like our insane goalkeeper is being let down by these low rated center backs. So what I'm going to do is I am probably going to be upgrading at least one of these guys massively. At least I'm going to try to bring in someone with an 85 rating. But that all comes down to the amount of money that we have to spend. So right now at the end of the season, I have 28 million in the budget. And I hope it adds on top of what we're going to get from the Prem for the next year. But this season, specifically, the main man for us has been, of course, Akin Fenva, Mehmeti, Elanga, Imeri, and even Pembele with unbelievable seasons. Can't complain. Koulibaly, 
20 games, 10 goal contributions. Great stuff. We needed a big center back. I brought in a big center back. Wesley Fofana is coming in and taking over. He is going to be helping us. Sadly, a ton. The icon, the legend is gone now. And Branthwaite has survived in a team. And I feel like that was the right decision. I needed someone better. And ideally, of course, this far into the career mode, you need to buy one of these high potential players. So Fofana is the man. Hopefully, this was the right choice. 2028, the results are not looking good at the end of the season. But my friends, we are first with only 74 points. That is quite impressive to me because normally the point total to win the Premier League is higher. But Wickham are the new champions. Bow down in front of your new champions. Wickham is the one. Now, we have Akin Fenva up to an 87. 90 pace. I didn't even see that. Oh, mate. He's going to be sprinting through people with that body of his. I can't wait to witness that. I'm so excited about the game when we do hop into it. At that point, he might be like 90-something rated. I need to work on his weak foot. But Mehmeti has been incredible. 88. Imeri up to a 90. Mansberg 88. Gomez 87. Elanga with the 90. Pembele looking solid. It's just that defense that still worries me a little bit. But at this point, I might as well just trust the boys and keep them going. Paulsen up to a 95. I still don't know how the hell that kid has pulled that off. But in terms of the performances, hopefully, Akin Fenva is the one. He is. 30 and 3. He is becoming an absolute machine. A goal scoring machine supported by incredible attacking teammates which is great to see and i can't wait i genuinely cannot wait to get to that point where we play that champions league final we might if things go well we might be there next season because the team technically is good enough and by the time we get there i think players like manswerk pembele guindo anakin fenva and memheti could be above the 90 rating as well we'll see how that goes but I can't wait. I freaking told you. Champions League final. Lads, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking on this screen as I was simulating because I'm watching a podcast. This is mental. Honestly, we have made it to the Champions League final in 2029. To be fair, it took us long enough. Let's be honest. But we have beaten PSG. What's up, Mbappe? We have beaten uh, Red Bull Salzburg. Adeyemi, what's up, dude? Then we have gone ahead and beaten AS Roma, Jose Mourinho, failure right there. And uh, in the group stages, we had the likes of Galatasaray. We also had Hertha. What the hell is Hertha doing in there? And Ajax. Well, that is good, but let's dive into the ratings. 90 rated Akin Fenba. I didn't change his weak foot. Ah, oh, I'm so brain dead. Mehmeti, 90 rated. Imeri, 91. Mansver Gomez looking solid. Elanga Pembele. It has me so freaking excited. Uh, Fafana, Brantwaite have done a great job. Gindo and Paulsen, the goalkeeper, is just so good. So, Akin Fenva. You are the main man. You are the captain. You are the one to get us to the promised land. Damn. Ha <laughs> ha. You see that? How many goals have you scored? Ooh. Elanga. 44 in 12. My God. What a season. I can film with the 32 goal contributions. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, he's going to be the main man in the Champions League final. Trust me. I don't know if Liverpool's defense is ready to take on Akin Fenva. This is going to be a monumental moment for the big man himself stepping up to try and win the biggest trophy of them all. Who the hell is the captain of Liverpool there? Alisson, Trent, those are some familiar faces. They also still have Jota in the team, but we do see a young Jude Bellingham. Maybe that happens in real life, who knows? We have Liverpool beating Leverkusen, Hertha BSC, Tottenham on their way to the final. That was a way easier road than ours. Why do the Wickham kits look like training shirts, like white training shirts with yellow bibs over it? Like what, what, what the hell am I looking at right here? Anyways, here we go, guys. Let's see what we can do with the lads. Hopefully we have a strong enough team to compete. And of course, the most important thing is that the big man himself scores a goal today. Ooh, that's going to be dangerous. Very dangerous, in fact. Whoa, terrible finish. Klopp ain't happy. I'm happy. Beautifully played over to Akin Fenva. 
Go on then, try and stop me. I have five star skills too now. Go on. Yes, keep attacking me. You won't get this ball off of me. I'm just going to tank my way through because my name is... My name is Jeff. Mate, that was incredible. We should have scored that one. Right around the penalty area. We're back in Fenver. I'm pressing L2. No one is taking this ball off me. That's for sure. Look at that strength. Go on then, son. Let's go. Big steal. Back in Fenver. Looking for his teammate. He is not only strong, he is also having that great vision for his teammates. Back into Akin Fenva. Go on, try and take it off me, pal. I don't care who you are. You ain't taking this ball off me. The good thing is, he's also good at dribbling now. Good pass back. Gomez. Alisson. I want to know, will he win this battle in the air? Because of his strength alone? He does. He well and truly does. Eight. He's possibly the most overpowered player in the game. Down the wings we go. Akin Fenva in the center. I'm looking for him. Can I find him? Yes, I can. He wins the battle in the air. But Alisson is just too strong today. Uh-oh. This ain't good. Let's go. Great defense. One guy against three attackers. That was well done. Into the center straight away. Looking for Mehmeti. Mehmeti. Akin Fenva, come close, man. Where are you going? There he is. Takes the shot. It's going to be a corner. 67th minute. I'm looking for him at the near post. The big man is getting there. He's not able to head this one, though. Gomez, bring it back to the right. You have some space here to create a new attack. Cross coming in. Into him. Akin Fenva. Yes. That's what he does. He is the main man, the target man of this team. And of course, if we do score with Akin Fenva, normally we should have done this celebration or we should have done the Balotelli. But sadly, I missed out on it. Lads, it's a beautiful move down the wings and Akin Fenva just easily, easily gets ahead of whoever is trying to defend him. There's no chance you're going to outmuscle this man right here. Ooh, beautiful steal. Straight into the attack. Yes, Akin Fenva. Keep moving, pal. Get inside. I see you. Go on then. Ah, oh, mate. I had a feeling you could pull that off, but hey, it's okay. We keep trying. I see him in the center. Go on. Bicycle kick. Alisson. If he doesn't come out, we scored a big goal there. Oh, hold on. Big mistake again. Talking about big. Here's the big man with the five star skills. 90 plus two. What a ball. Akin Fenva. Oh. What an attack. What a goal. It is the 92nd minute as he finds himself in the perfect spot to score against Liverpool again. The kits of Wickham, I gotta say, the kits are terrible. That pass right there from Gomez is unreal. But the fact that Mehmeti finds Akin Fenwa with a back heel pass on top of it just makes it even more special. This is is it my friends Wickham win the Champions League and who's gonna lift the trophy well you know exactly who it is Akin Fenwa or as KSI used to say Akin Fenwa yes that is it my friends thank you so much for watching I had a great time with this rebuild and I gotta say the gameplay part was the most enjoyable part this time it was beautiful have a good day guys let me know some ideas in the comments down below I'll catch you next time. Subscribe if you are new. Have a good day and peace.